Hey, it's Snivy here, and it's review time. I got a hold of a Jolt, which is very rare where I live. You have to go pretty far just to get to a Kmart, and Kmart is the only place that sells Jolts. And I got a stock Firefly, new in box, at Tuesday morning. So I'm going to do a review on the two of them. And I'm going to go with the Jolt first, just because it's a little bit smaller. And when I first got this, I was speechless. I mean, it's an amazing gun for the compact size. It has one of the best plunger seals of any nerve gun, any stock gun. This is just amazing. It's just a purely amazing gun. And it even will suck darts, even with air restrictor. I did not do anything to this, because there's no real reason, because it has such good stock performance. I can hold this like this for at least like five minutes. It's amazing. Um, it's a very simple gun. Extremely simple how it works. It's basically just like a any type of snap um, type homemade. It's just very simple. You have a little catch, which is like a little pin that goes down, and then you have just a very simple plunger head, which is let me see if I can find something that resembles it. Um, well, basically, what you have is a cylinder. Let me use these ner these Legos. My head's sitting around. Um, it's gonna be a little bit bigger, but you basically have a circular thing where each side has a little indention. It probably comes out about that much from the edge and it's shaping so it has an angle to it so once this slips in it gets pulled back it just cocks right into place and it holds it there until you pull the trigger down so it works just basically like a um, a closed bin trigger mech from a snap They're very simple um, extremely great ranges I mean I was stunned with the performance it, it came with two um, whistlers and I'm just shooting um, Taggers right now because I don't want to open my box of bullets. Um, this is a great gun. Um, extremely, I was impressed. This is a fairly old gun. Um, it's a data manufacturer since 2010. Crap, ricochet. Um, let me show you this. This still has the air restriction. I did not do anything internally to it. It will vacuolo darts, which is amazing. Um, a very pretty accurate actually from up close. I'm hitting the same target, the same spot. It goes off a little bit to the right from where you're aiming, which isn't bad. Um, recommend pick, I might get a few more of these um, next time I go out of town. Um, I want to do a nano jolt and probably I may do something similar to a ballistics knife. I know that um, um, Germ had one, and it was basically, it was like a, um, a secret strike that was made into a long thing, it had a handle and a knife, and inside the knife, you could put a Nerf bullet in it and just shoot it. And I've seen people with a couple of it right here, so it's just one straight shot, and I think you could probably make something similar to a knife like that. Oh, excuse me. Uh, next, I got a Firefly. Um, new in box. I paid fourteen dollars for this, which isn't bad. And this is actually a pretty old gun. The box manufacture date is two thousand nine, but the actual gun itself manufacturing date. Let me find it again. Uh, where is it at? Two thousand five. So this is seven years old. Six or seven. I don't know. Um it's a really cool gun. It pretty much was the second series second gun ever made that had the ability to shoot glow in the dark darts. The first was the electric eel and it had a clip mech, if I'm correct. And it just uses a use I think it uses L U to light him up. But this one uses something similar to a camera flash from a um disposable camera. Um it's a direct plunger gun, so you're getting great, uh, pretty much a really good ranges with this gun, and it has a great seal. Um, I didn't do anything internally other than remove the air restrictor so it could fire streamlines, and this thing fires streamlines incredibly well. Um, it's getting really good ranges for streamlines. I do not have any streamlines right now because most of them have the sides blown out, and I lost a few with my Titan. Um, um, really neat design um it's a little bit uncomfortable especially the trigger because it has a, such a very small 
um, hole. I mean, my finger will barely fit to it, through it, and it has a very heavy trigger pull. It's really heavy because you're not just actually un, um, firing the gun. You're also um, rotating a turn with each trigger pull, so it rotates on um, trigger pull. It holds um, eight stickies, and I lost one. Um, the stickies themselves are not glow in the dark. The other thing that glows in the dark or in them are the tips, um, and how they glow in the dark, which, like, clearly on here it shows the whole dark glowing, but really how they work, which I've never had one, I've never known anyone had one, you have this adhesive type of a sticker that you have to put around it, and it has a glowing, it, it glows unbelievably well, let me get one of them I already have, and so it's really hard, it's not that very hard to get on, but once you get on, they'll usually stay on there pretty well, um, can see um, and sometimes they will come off after time like this one it's starting to come off a little bit um, I don't know but I'm pretty sure streamlines the new ones they glow all together the whole plastic glows the foam I'm trying to look in the dark it just fell somewhere crap where did it go Probably fell behind the computer. Oh well. Um, like I said, it works like a camera flash. Um, I wonder if there's a resistor in this, because I know um, that the camera fl uh, no, it's a capacitor. Um, I know camera flashes can be pretty dangerous. If you're taking one apart, you can pretty much stun someone with it, because the capacitor holds so much voltage, which powers the, um, the flash. Um, I'm pretty sure this does not work the same way as a camera flash, because once you charge up the camera flash, it will stay charged even when you turn off the power. And this one does not work like that, so you turn on and it'll blink. But if I turn it off after it's been charged for a while, it won't blink. Um, you can hear kind of a a wham. That's the sound of it charging, just like a camera flash. Um, the actual turn itself has reflective inside, so it reflects back onto it. Um, there are some disadvantages, like I've read on some of the wiki pages, that this can like give away your location because of the bright flash. Um, I mean, this thing has—it's a really good gun, all, all in all. Um, good, comfortable stock. Uh, the the only, only thing I dislike about this is the trigger pull and the um, the trigger guard size. Um, since this this is direct plunger, you can do a pretty beefy spring addition to it, I guess you could put like, I'm saying probably like a 25k in here, or like any type of Home Depot spring in it, and probably get better ranges, but I'm not sure if that's a good idea, because it looks like the actual plunger tube itself looks pretty flimsy, I don't know, it may destroy it, um, it's a good gun, I'm doing a firing test on it now, I love this. The one disadvantage of this gun is the load times are pretty slow. Um, these glow fairly well. I mean, it's not that very impressive. I mean, I, mean, I rev it all the way through just to get a good glow through them. I only have one of the, um, no, two of the um, darts have the adhesive on them. Um, Hopefully when I get paid, I can go and buy some streamlines, um, some glow ones, and see how it works. Um, crap. Just rotate it through all of them. Let me go turn off the light so you can see it. And it's dark as crap. You can kind of see the glow of them. I mean, oh, snap. Oh. It fell behind my freaking thing. And that's another thing. This thing glows completely. Like, in dark light, since there's a really bright red LED, it kind of glows. You can see how it's kind of glowing a little bit. Um, crap, I lost one of my darts. I'm gonna go turn on the lights again. 
Right. Um, doing firing tests on this target. It's actually a very, a very rapidly firing gun because I mean it's very simple to cock shoot. Um, there is one you can't glue all the darts. Um, you're pulling it really fast; it won't do it. But if you wait, at least I'm saying two seconds, like one, two, one, two, wait, one, two, one, two, one, two. Sometimes, I mean, in between priming and after firing a blast or so, you should be able to get a good charge. Um. The gun itself came with this little brochure, which is um, the date. And it says, says it has all the arsenal stuff, like build your arsenal. Um, and it has a code for um, and strike elite for this gun. I actually want to get those games for some reason. I've I've played Arena Blast, one of the older ones, and um, I don't know. Now it says the um. The glow in the dark darts, I don't think you could actually buy replacement ones for the old ones. Because it doesn't actually load them. Like, it has a dart reload center chart, and it doesn't actually say it just says suction darts, whistler darts, click system darts, and dart tag darts. Um, has an ad for the Raider. And it says the long strike, um, fires up to 50, 35 feet, and doesn't release till, um, Oh, which one was it? It says coming out in spring 2010 has like the Vulcan, the Recon, the um, Long Strike, Night Finder. And I actually do like some of like on the packaging itself. Let me get my Maverick. Just right here. The pack with the actual pictures. The coloration of the Maverick, it actually is kind of cool. It's like, like a metallic silver and it's like kind of reverse, I guess you say, like the actual priming bar is black and the tack rail is um, orange and compared to the actual thing it's a very different coloration which I think they should have stuck with their um, concepts it would look a lot cooler Dark um, so that's pretty much it pretty long video wow um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, thanks for watching